activity is called bubble capture. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of ball. Any size will do. Uh, the kids are going to work on a rolling on, on the ground. We did this for kindergarten and first grade. You could probably also do it for second grade as well. You're also going to need poly spots. You can use any kind of poly spot. It doesn't matter shape, size, or color. So the students are going to have a partner and obviously a bundle. All right. So I'm going to use the bigger one. One person is the roller, and we have them on the sideline of the gym, and the partner is going to stand on one of the poly spots. So let's say I'm the roller, and my partner's on, uh, let's go with that purple poly spot. They are going to use that rolling pattern, they're going to roll that ball to their partner who's standing on the purple dot. Now I have my kids make sure you have a line that they have to stand behind. So uh, my kids, they stand at the gray line, they roll that ball towards their partner, and their partner has to be able to reach down and scoop it up, okay, or just pick it up. If they can do that without having to step off the dot, they get to capture the bubble, okay? And now they're gonna bring it back and they're going to switch with their partner. So now their partner gets to roll while the other one, while my partner would roll, and then I would stand on the dot, and then I would wait for the ball. If my partner rolls and I have to step away from it, I don't get to keep that bubble. I don't get to take it. All right. Now we switch. After every turn, we switch. After every roll, whether we're successful at getting a, bu a bubble or not. When most of the bubbles are picked up, we have them go back. We'll have them count a certain color or a certain size dot, or maybe multiple of the two, like count your big and, and small purple ones, or maybe just be like count how many small ones you have, or how many star ones that you have. So make that uh, creativeness with you, and you can determine a winner that way. Have the kids come back out and scatter them. Oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, we, we scatter them all the way down the center of the gym, so we kind of use the basketball key and just continue that pathway all the way down. Uh, the other variation, which you saw I did, if you wanted to have the students play by themselves, is they can roll the ball, run past it, get on that dot, and scoop it up by the time you, they get there. Okay, so that way it gives the kids a chance to kind of also track and kind of get an idea of where the ball is going. Oh, it's going to go this way. I can adjust myself, get on that dot, and pick it up. So there's another variation to do if you have the students play this one by themselves. I hope your kiddos will enjoy this one. I'm Coach Perot reminding you to keep on moving.